Oh my goodness. Okay, we are receiving some questions from you guys on the internet. So let's see what you were asking. Hmm. Okay. How did you start with the jewelry designs? Really, I didn't know. I believe things are coming to you because I was having the opportunity to purchase a manufacturing and then I had the sourcing for the vendor for material and everything without noticing because before I was doing fashion consulting, so I noticed that they have all the elements to start my jewelry line. And because my husband and I, we were planning to have a baby, we would like to have something like less demanding with my time in corporate America was 24 seven. Hey, this, I work here more, really. If they have more than 24 hours, I will be working those hours. So that's it, that's how it happened. So let's see what is the next one. What do you draw inspiration from when designing jewelry line? Hmm, what I do is one of my passion is being a stylist. So what happened is I look at people and what they were wearing and say, wow, what are we missing? Let's put this, let's put that. Because, come on guys, fashion is not an expensive. Uh, uh, uh. To be on the train is not an expensive. And women, when you go to work every day, what are I going to wear tomorrow? But with accessories, you are able to change everything and feel different. So it's easier to buy accessories like earrings, rings, bracelets, versus buy a bunch of clothes, right? Especially every three months, everything is changing. So this is how my inspiration came. Looking at the people and imagine what they should be wearing with what outfit they have at that moment. How do you want people to feel, to feel when they are wearing Leonardo Dalmagro design? Fabulous, of course. <laughs> no, but the truth, the truth. I want you to feel you. I want you please yourself, be you and have something in my line they say you know what that piece is me today i'm going to wear that with that you use hashtag life as leo ld jewelry you are one of my ambassadors okay okay this is super interesting okay guys what does a typical day look like for a jewelry designer you want the true or the marketing answer. The marketing answer, oh fabulous darling, talking with celebrities, choosing between, you know, James Stones. No. I have a four year old, thank you God. So I get up very early in the morning, get my family ready, and then I go to my office, work with my team, and checking with my family house everything's going with them during the day. That is my real life. What are your favorite materials to use, work with? It's the pain what we have on hand. Why? Because I'm designing, thinking about you guys. And this economic situation is not putting ourselves to invest in pieces that are super expensive because we have other priorities. So I use materials that are very good quality. The best quality that you find in the market is for you. When you purchase something for us, you're not only helping for the one-on-one -on -one program, but you're getting something that has a value, especially over stones. They are all certified the best of the best that you could find in the market. It's what shoppers see over offer, right? So, why not? What's your favorite piece of jewelry that you made before and why? The cuff bracelet. Because the majority of designers, they're thinking about their model size and they forgot people are on all sizes and shape. And you know, what a wonderful opportunity I had to use in my first jewelry line a bracelet that was super flexible and people could wear it as a cuff, could be as a bracelet for the arm. They were able to use it on any way they want because adapt for any size. That was super excited to see the feedback that you guys tell me about how comfortable it was, how flexible, and they don't have the issue I cannot wear because it's not my size. What advice would you have for aspiring jewelry designers? Be honest, when you design design with respect, with respect of your audience, your customer. And my journey, I know it's not that long that people believe it is, but I've been in the industry for a while. Now when I be in front of the camera as a designer and hosting, but what I learned is the appreciation from the manufacturers, the workers, the pieces they were selecting, from where they're coming from, and who is wearing them. I think about every piece of this map for you to be able to in your hand that you feel comfortable with the price, comfortable with the quality, and especially comfortable to say it's a piece from Leonardo Dalmagro. What is your favorite James Stones? Mmm, depends what I'm wearing. Sometimes it's diamonds, sometimes blue topaz, and upsets of Italian smoky quartz. Why? 
because first it's not like that popular of everybody, but the look is so luxurious and it's chic and go with every skin color. That is something also that my jewelry line was thought about it. The way the material was plated, the gold was plated, allow you to match with any skin color, your jewelry always going to look good. With whatever you are wearing, always going to look good because it was designed for the point of view of the stylist. So baby step, like always say, baby step. When you change your look, baby steps. <laughs>